Okay, folks, we're back again to do another unboxing of comics for the week. Sorry I didn't do a video last week. I was a little bit under the weather, but uh, I'm much better now. So we will pick up where we left off. Uh, start with Lunar. Got the box inside the box with the bubble wrap. And it's a heavy one. There must be a lot in this box. So... More bubble wrap, backing boards. All right, let's get started. Obviously, right on top is Harley Quinn. 30th anniversary special. This is the regular cover, I believe. Yes. A big $9.99 cover price. It is square bound. Tappy tappy there with the cardstock cover. It feels a little thinner. We'll take a look inside. Look at some art. Obviously, multiple stories going on. So different, different artists. And let's see, here's a variant cover. This is a J. Scott Campbell variant. Got several of those. I actually got more of those than the regular cover. Because to me, that's just common sense. Get the J. Scott Campbell variant. Works every time. Oh, sorry, let's get some more of these books out. Here's another variant. Not sure who did this one. It's a good cover. Oh. And here's another variant. And this is the Adam Hughes variant. And there's even more of these in here. This one's kind of bent. That looks like a Frank Cho variant. If we can get that to focus. Who's afraid of the dark? Anyways, that one's like I said, a little bent. It'll flatten out, not a huge big deal. I don't know, maybe it is. $10 cover price. I don't like seeing damage of any kind. But whatever. Batman One Bad Day. Two Face, number one. Take a look at some art here. That's what the Batman Two Face book looks like. Got several copies of that. This one looks familiar. It is Action Comics number one. June 1938. No. This is September 2022. But anyways, reprint of Action Comics number one. This is the facsimile edition. So there's that. These facsimile editions are very popular. Batman the Knight, number 9 of 10. And here is World's Finest, number 7. Meet the Boy Thunder. So I saw a thing about this. That's a uh, first appearance of somebody who was Batman's secret sidekick that we're just now finding out about. Here's some more Harley Quinn 30th anniversary cover, variant, book, things, yeah, trying to talk. Stanley Art Germ Lau. 
Of course, a bit of a knockoff of the uh, Batman Adventures 12. Here's a variant cover for Batman One Bad Day, Two Face Number One. Pretty cool. Let's try to get these out without screwing them up. Here is the Flash. This is a cardstock variant. Tappy tappy. Flash number 786. Cardstock variant. Here's another Flash number 786. Different cardstock variant. Tappy tappy. <clears throat> and here's the regular floppy. Floppy Flash 786. <clears throat> Fables number 155. Deceased War of the Undead Gods number 2 of 8. DC versus Vampires All Out War number 3 of 6. Dark Crisis, Young Justice, number four of six. And back into the box. Rick and Morty, Crisis on C-137. It is number two. Here is Titans United, number one of six. Titans United Blood Pact. Here is Nightwing, number 96, sideways cover. Based on the Brady Bunch, that's pretty cool. Looney Tunes, number 268. There's another variant for the Harley Quinn 30th anniversary. Hey, here's another variant. How much did I pay for these things? My goodness. Bruce Tim variant. That's a good one. And here's another one. Terry and Rachel Dodson. Here's Black Adam, number four of 12. And Catwoman, number 47. And more Black Adam is number four. Black Adam number fours. So that's it for the lunar ones. Let's go to the ones from Penguin. Which of course is Marvel, mostly. There's some IDW, potentially. So, mailer number one. Get it all wrapped up in... Yeah. Got your invoice. Okay, Mandalorian number three variant edition. That one's pretty screwed up on the edge there. I think it'll flatten out. Ain't too worried about it. Mandalorian number three variant. Here's another Mandalorian variant for number three. 
And this would be the regular cover for the Mandalorian at number three. Those sell pretty well. Probably should have got some more of those. But whatever. That's what we got. Next mailer. Fantastic Four, number 47. This is a variant cover. Spider-Man variant of some sort. Here's the Spider-Verse number 4 variant cover. I believe this is the 1 in 10. Design variant. Mech Strike Monster Hunters. Number four. Here's X Men Legends number two. This is a variant cover, a Jim Rugg variant. Pretty good. Art there. And Ultraman, the Mystery of Ultra Seven, number two. Oh my. Avengers number 60. Beyond Amazing Variant Edition. And here's Carnage number 6 of Variant cover. And Fantastic Four number 47. Another variant cover, obviously featuring different. Incarnations of Sue Storm, Sue Richards, the Invisible Woman. All right, so now we go to the box, which it looks like they've gone back to the the good packaging. I guess they were doing an experiment that one week. That would have been a failed experiment. So we got a box inside a box with some packing paper. The box looks intact, so shouldn't be too much damage going on here. Paper. Invoice packing list, whatever you want to call it. It's revolutionary technology. All right. Right here on top, my goodness. Did I just order one of these? What's wrong with me? Darth Vader number 27, Choose Your Destiny variant with Darth Bane on the cover. Eh, it's a little bit screwy condition-wise, not perfect, but we'll let it slide. Iron Cat number 4. Edge of Spider-Verse number 4. This is a variant cover. I got a few extra copies of Spider-Verse beyond what I thought I could actually sell because they're probably a pretty good book to spec on, but um, they're all selling, so surprise. Jane Foster, Mighty Thor number four. Avengers Forever, number nine. The New Mutants, number 30. This one feels pretty thick. And it's got a big old $5.99 cover price, but it is thicker. we can out this box Legion of X number five X-Men Legends number two this is the regular cover I believe Here's 
Here's Doctor Strange, number six. Or, I'm sorry, just Strange. And Exterminators, number one. Brand new X-Men book. I believe this is a limited series. It's a number one. Let's look inside. There's a little sample of art from Exterminators number one. Looks pretty good. There's another copy. And maybe we can get these out. Okay, Edge of Spider-Verse number four. This appears to be the regular cover. Probably several of these because I was wanting that variant. Edge of Spider-Verse number four. Got you a Peter Porker there. Yeah. And the spider buggy lot going on there. Avengers X-Men Eternals Judgment Day. Uh, number five. Regular cover. Avengers number 60. Regular cover. Several of those. Here is Darth Vader, number 27. Regular cover. More of that. Carnage, number 6. Regular cover. Hopefully got more of those. No. Yeah. More Carnage, number 6. Fantastic Four number 47, regular cover. And that's it. That's our comics for the week. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. Bye.